God for the haters. Enough, they scored the touchdown, they took the lead, and he put Roethlisberger back out there mm -hmm. just for that. So, Mike Tomlin's explanation was... Um, I heard. <laughs> you heard from the press conference today? The uh, the x-ray machine. The, the x-ray is... Ready. <laughs> He, they couldn't, when the x-ray came back, they couldn't read it. And, um... The biggest piece of bull. So, basically, uh, like, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He was like, well, and there's really no excuse. Yeah. Because if that's, you know, we use the same x-ray machine that they use. So, yep. Yep. you know, whatever. We, he said, we couldn't read it. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what to go off of. Yep. Um, and at and at some point they decided between communication between him and Ben Roethlisberger that you know what um, we we just need to go ahead and go and put him in. Yeah, that was a, I, I, I mean that's a that's risky and it's, and, and and it's a bad choice on Thomas' part. That if and, and if that's the case, uh, uh, let me be clear. I think the story is BS. But if that was the case, yeah, that the X-ray machine and and I, and I heard people talk that I guess it's the Oakland Raiders personal like stadium machine or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and you know everybody's dog in the stadium because it's old and it's outdated. Yeah. And I, I heard something else that they found mice inside some of the vending machines at the stadium wow. and stuff. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's, it's some crazy stuff. Yeah. But but if that was the case, so it probably was an old machine. It probably was. But if that's the case, you risk your franchise quarterback to go back out there and potentially get killed out there well, let me tell if you, you don't something. know the results. Well, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn. Of course you I'm, don't. I'm risking my franchise quarterback at the end of his career of course. where we didn't lost two in a row mm -hmm. and, to and y'all struggling to beat the damn Raiders. I'm putting him in the second he walk out with me. Can't, hey, can't, so why didn't he do it earlier? Because uh, because he <laughs> thought that he could save. He thought that Joshua Dobbs and somebody could get on the run and they could beat the Raiders by without. Yeah, and, exactly. And and my criticism of Tomlin is that he waited too long to realize, oh shit, we about to lose. And I think you just come out and just say, look, I, I screwed up. No, nah, guys, no, nah, no, nah, he's not gonna do that. And and, and and respectfully, I wouldn't do that either because it ain't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. I, I, it's not your business. I don't give a fuck. Okay. It's my yeah. job to. It's my yeah. job to throw you off the scent. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's my sure. job to do that. Sure. All coaches do that. Sure. Well, most coaches do that. Sure, but I mean, uh, ain't I, nobody. Let me tell you, ain't nobody leaving him alone if he say I fucked up as a black coach in the NFL. I, I just, I just think he could have came up with a better story than that. Well, uh, we still don't know if you're right. Yeah. If you tell the truth or not. We don't. So why why not go with the story? You know, we gonna all we gonna do is do what we doing right now, saying that's a bullshit story. We're speculating, and yeah. leave it alone. We'll be over sure. By tomorrow. Sure. Like this ain't we ain't even gonna sure. be talking about this shit tomorrow. But the ducks don't add up. I mean, at the at the, at the, often, at the conclusion, the ducks don't add up. How often do the ducks line up when coaches tell these types of stories in these types of uh, situations? Not, not often. Not often. So not, not often. Ain't doing nothing different. He ain't I, doing nothing different. 65, 30. Let me tell you something. Though. 65, 35, it doesn't add up mm -hmm. most of Let the time. Let me tell you something. Um, more than ever, um, and, I, and I guess it ain't no secret. I don't, I, I'm scared we make, I'm scared we not making the playoffs. Well, um, well, you know what? Let, let, let's have that conversation right now because um, as, as, as for as many weeks as I've said since the Ravens, Lost three in a row. Mm -hmm. We're four and five. I've I've just kind of you know completely kind of canceled them out. Mm -hmm. That this you know this is not a playoff team. They might get the eight wins. They'll get the nine. But some way somehow they'll lose a tiebreaker here and there or or whatever. Um, I I have to acknowledge that that's changed. There that that it's changed. Right. Everything has changed yeah. now. I mean, even with, you know, the close call in Kansas City, yeah. you know, a everything is kind of changed right now. Um, we holding on to the North with a tie. That was, yeah, half, half a game. We're holding on with a tie. Half a, yeah, half a game right now with the Patriots coming to town and you got to go to New Orleans. Um, a Patriot team that, look, and, I, and, I, and it, it seems like the narrative with the Patriots is always... They don't lose back-to-back -back games, 
or the way they lose a game, they get mm -hmm. pissed off, they come out next week yeah. firing on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. I still think there's something off about the Patriots. I do too. I, I still think and there's something, I'm and that's what I'm that's the hope. On. That 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 that's the hope to. you you, you gotta yeah, that's have. That's all I'm holding on to. That's the hope. Um, but just 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 on and the Connor man, Connor just. <laughs> Get your, get it right, man. Now he's practicing. I heard. I'm, uh, no, he's not. He's practicing. not practicing no, this week. Practicing. Okay, I'm, not I'm, yet. I, I might have heard not false yet. then. Not yet. I might, I might have, I might have heard false then. But, um, but, but just to, just to kind of put in perspective this AFC North race. I guess, I guess since we titled the show that, you know, it ain't over in the North yet. Um, it, it is, it is very possible that our Week 16 matchup with the Chargers will be meaningless for the Chargers. Right. And and let me, you know, break that down. It starts Thursday night. Chiefs win that game, they clinch the AFC mm -hmm. West, right. which kind of puts the Chargers in the five spot. Mm -hmm. Now, the other question to that would be can one of those teams that's 7 and 6 could can one of those teams mathematically leap over the Chargers for the five, for the five spot? spot? And I and I and I did some research. Okay. And the only team that can mathematically leap over the Chargers with a 10 and 6 record, because they got 10 wins yeah, now, and let's say the Chargers lose, lose out and one of these 7 and 6s go on a run here. Mm -hmm. The only team that can leap over, not tie, leap over the Chargers for five is the Miami Dolphins, mm -hmm. which means a Chargers loss this weekend combined with a Dolphins loss to Minnesota would clinch the number five seed for the Chargers. And at that stage, you're thinking, Melvin Gordon's banged up, let's mm -hmm. get him some rest. Yeah. Eckler's banged up, get him some rest. Phillip Rivers is no spring chicken. Maybe we might start him, but maybe we'll pull him depending second quarter going though. into the, right, depending mm -hmm. on how the game go. Maybe we're not trying to, you know, get our guys hurt. Yeah. The Ravens could win in Los Angeles, man. Yeah. The Ravens could be and and we beat Tampa. It, it starts there. Yeah. Beat the Bucks. Beat the Chargers. We can win the AFC North week sixteen yeah. if you know, y'all underdogs against the Patriots, I assume. I would assume so. I would assume so. And then you'll be definitely underdogs against in New Orleans. Orleans. Y'all take two L's right there. We get two W's. That's it. That's it. That's it for the North. Yeah. So I, I have to acknowledge that there there's a shot. There's yeah. a chance. I'm, I'm gonna say I, I a shot. Say, it's likely that y'all are going and we not. Right. It's right. likely. Right. It's very likely, right. and it's likely it's likely to the point where um, Keith Butler is getting fired. Mm. That's happening. Mm. And Mike Tomlin's not safe. Yeah, and I'm not saying I want Mike Tomlin to be fired. Right, that's not. I, I don't. Right, right. But he's not safe. I, I agree with that. He's not safe. I, I, I totally Twelve years is enough. He is not safe. Yeah, man. He's not safe. <sighs> wow. But Keith wow. Butler, at bare minimum, is getting fired. Keith Butler's getting fired. Wow. There's no nothing wow. to that. Keith Butler has. Oh, got gee, nigga. Thank God for the haters, though. Thank God. I thank God for the haters. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for the haters, though. Thank God. Thank God.